welcome everyone is another inspiring stories episode number 14 and we are closing out 2020 with a powerful awareness of opportunities to ask for help and to be purposeful about creating a visual that you want to create and cliff's got another wonderful story to drive home the point thanks we're looking april. forward to it cliff thanks april um I, this story is back when i uh was working for a company and they came to me and asked me to open up a showroom of their of the products that they so, uh, sold and they had an existing showroom but it was in the wrong place and didn't have all the products that they were about to sell they were a plumbing showroom and they wanted to also include appliances and lighting. So um, I had no experience in running a showroom, building a showroom, or anything to do uh, with really the showroom business except selling products that went in those showrooms. So it was a real challenge for me as I looked at it and I sat down and I said, how am I gonna do this? They're expecting something and going to be investing probably a million dollars in the showroom. And I'm the one that they're gonna to come to and say, get it done, make it happen. So um, I, the first thing that I did in, in, in trying to create this was I went out and tried to find experts to hire in each of the product categories. We already had product category experts in the plumbing side of the business that worked for us, but we didn't have one in a lighting and we didn't have one in appliances. So I was very fortunate to find two people that were excited about the opportunity of building something new and doing something new. And as we uh, started to put the team together, it came to me that they didn't know either, okay, how to do this. I mean, they had, a, they had worked in showrooms and they had sold the products that we were gonna be selling, but they didn't know how to create a showroom. There's probably not a lot of people on earth that know how to do that. So, um, we decided that the best way to do it was to go and talk to the vendor. So I had, you know, we had major appliances like Whirlpool and, and Sub-Zero and Wolf and, 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 and on the lighting side, we had major lighting suppliers. And uh, what we did is we called them in, the local reps in for those particular products and their management. We asked a manager to come in. And when we sat in the room, we asked them a few simple questions. And the questions, the first question we asked them was, you know, are, are, would you help us? You know, would you help us to develop this showroom? And, and of course they said yes, they wanted opportunities to sell their product. But then I think we, we th threw a sort of a left turn at them, and it, but it worked extremely well. And that was, the next question we asked us was, tell us where you're existing right now, where your best showroom is in the United States. Where do you feel that it's the most successful showroom showing your products to the public and, and tell me a little bit about that showroom. And they would, you know, they would say, they knew right off the bat, hey, our showroom in, you know, in Las Vegas is the best showroom in the country and, and they would tell us why. And I would ask them the questions, would they bring us back pictures of that showroom? And, and then ultimately ask them, could we make, would you partner with us to make this showroom the best showroom of your product in the nation, because that's what our goal was. Our goal was to, to have the finest plumbing, appliance, and lighting showrooms showroom in the United States. And it was amazing, the transformation. They came back with pictures to us. They came back with ideas. Some of them actually designed their entire space of the showroom in our showroom, put the displays together, and had them installed in our showroom at no cost because we gave them the freedom to enlist in our dream in the creation of this showroom. And it was just an awesome experience. And, and they were all so excited the day we opened that showroom and had our grand opening. They stood in front of their displays and said, we designed this for them. And this is based upon the best showroom. Now this is the best showroom in the country. And our showroom sales rocketed and we were awarded the, the, uh, the best showroom in Ferguson showroom system in the Southeast. And our numbers went through the roof as the most profitable business that we had. So um, I guess the moral of this story is, is to, to ask for help. Ask for help and enlist people into your dreams 
as you're creating these things. The moral of the story is, is that you know to ask for help from other people, enlist them in your dream, and create something special, so unique that it's the best that you possibly can do. And each and every individual listening gets to create their own showroom, whether it be in their own business, their own website, their own platforms, their own social media, whatever they want to create, because we get to create every day. And we want and invite you to share your stories. Uh, we will be beginning again with a powerful priority conversation in January of 2021. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, April. I can